In this video, we'll introduce you to subsetting in Tonic. By default, Tonic data generation creates destination data that is based on your entire source database. Subsetting allows you to create a smaller, more focused set of destination data that maintains referential integrity. For example, a subset might be based on records from a specific time frame, geographic location, or team. So what makes up a subset? Each subset has target tables, lookup tables, and related tables. We'll use this example to explain these concepts. Target tables are the starting point for a subset. The target table configuration identifies the records that you are most concerned about. To identify those records, you can set a percentage of records or provide a where clause. You might use a percentage when you're just concerned about the actual number of records. A where clause, however, allows you to generate a more focused, cohesive subset. In our example, the events table is a target table. You might configure the subset to only include events that occurred, say, at a specific venue. You can also identify lookup tables. A lookup table is generally a smaller table that contains common values that are used in multiple other tables. For example, a list of country names or postal codes might be a good lookup table candidate. A subset always contains all of the records in the lookup tables. In our example, the list of states is a lookup table. Finally, based on the target table configuration, Tonic identifies related tables. A related table is a table other than a lookup table that has a foreign key relationship with a target table or with another related table. Downstream related tables contain records that are required for referential integrity. For example, in our events target table, one column identifies the host from a foreign key relationship with the hosts table. The hosts table is a downstream related table. The subset must include all of the host records that are referred to in the target event records. Upstream related tables contain records that refer to target table records or to required records in other related tables. They are not required for referential integrity and can be filtered. For example, each attendee in the attendees table refers to an event in our events target table. The attendees table is an upstream related table. The subset by default includes the related attendees, but the attendee records are not needed for the referential integrity of the target event records. Other tables are outside of the subset. You can optionally include those tables when you generate a subset. You configure your subset on the subsetting view for your workspace. Table view contains the list of tables in the workspace and their current subset status. You can optionally include out of subset tables when you generate a subset. Graph view contains a diagram of the relationships among the tables and also shows the current subset status. From the table details panel, you can specify whether a table is a target table or a lookup table. For upstream related tables, you can filter the records to further streamline your subset. When subsetting is configured, you can choose whether to generate from the full source database or to generate using the subset configuration. Subsetting can be enabled or disabled on the subsetting page or on the Generate Data panel. Subset steps show the steps that Tonic goes through to identify the records in the subset. The Configuration tab shows the results of the most recent subsetting generation. You can also see the results of previous subsetting runs as well as the subsetting configuration that was in place for each run. And that concludes our introduction to subsetting in Tonic. To learn more, check out our other videos, our blogs, or the Tonic product docs.